Understanding real, authentic French conversation isn't easy. And not everybody has the opportunity to travel to France or another French-speaking country to be exposed to real, everyday spoken French. Luckily for us, we can now practice from the comfort of our own homes. There is YouTube, podcasts, and of course, many French movies and TV shows that we can watch on platforms like Netflix in order to improve our oral comprehension. Are you looking for your next French TV show to watch? Then you are in the right place. Today I am going to introduce you to some of my favorite French TV shows and they will help you get better at understanding real everyday spoken French. And I will also tell you a little bit about what makes this show so helpful when it comes to improving your oral comprehension. Parlement is such a gem. It is a small TV series about the day-to-day -day life in the institutions of the European Union. I know, it sounds boring, but it's actually pretty funny. We follow the young French assistant, Sami, as he tries to navigate the maze of politics, bureaucracy, lobbying and absurdity alongside all the other people working for the EU. The first season is in Bruxelles, while the second one takes place in the European Parliament in France, in Strasbourg. One of the funny things about Parlement is that it shows the many languages used in the EU institutions. Some conversations take place entirely in German or Spanish or French or English or Polish and each character speaks with their own accent. The show takes you right in the middle of all these European nations, so please turn on the subtitles even if you are a very advanced French student. The French dialogue is interesting too, because it's a mix of formal French, informal slang, and lots of technical vocabulary too. Naturellement, l'amendement 13 ne portait pas initialement sur le paragraphe 13. Oui, oui. I've debated talking about this show for a time now because it's not very easily available in the US. But many of my students have been outspoken about it, so I had to tell you about Parlement. You can watch it on France.tv if you are in France, and it seems to be also available on the platform linked to Amazon Prime. The Bazaar de la Charité, the bonfire of destiny in English. Modern French language in 19th century costumes with the wonderful French actress Audrey Fleurot. What's not to like? Le Bazaar de la Charité, le Bazaar de la Charité, or the Bonfire of Destiny in English, is a French miniseries about the lives of three French women from different social classes in La Belle Époque. La Belle Époque is literally the beautiful era, as we call the times before the First World War. We follow their relationships, their trauma, and how they manage to navigate French society at their own level. It starts with a real life event, l'incendie, l'incendie, the great fire at the Bazaar de la Charité, which was a charity event in the center of Paris. The show stars Gilbert Melki, Gilbert Melki, and Audrey Fleurot, Audrey Fleurot. They previously appeared in other French TV shows that I recommend and you will find the links to them in my blog post for today's lesson. Of course, you'll also find resources to other TV shows that I love as well as the full transcript of this lesson, fully downloadable for free. The show uses French informal grammar instead of the more formal French that we might expect from such a period drama. But it works fine. And you get to practice your understanding of everyday modern French, so you can use this in any conversation and it's a big plus. Le Bazar de la Charité first aired in 2019 on French channel TF1 and is now available on Netflix. Drôle means funny in French. And it is the name of this show about funny French people. It is made by Fanny Herrero, Fanny Herrero, who is also the creator of, remember, 10%, 10%. Drôle is called standing up in English because, indeed, it is about Aïsatou 
Nézir, Bling and Apolline, fictional characters chasing success with le stand-up, stand-up comedy in France. Yes, the French scene is heavily influenced by American stand-up. Beware because drôle can be rude and it is not for everybody. I could make a whole video on French stand-up to be honest, just tell me in the comments if you'd like that. Anyway, it is a nice series about struggling comedians in modern France. It was released on Netflix this year in 2022, so of course they speak real modern French and it's only six episodes, so it's easy to watch. I've told you before about Johnny Hallyday, that French rock superstar from Belgium that tried to look like an American and who is totally unknown outside of our borders. He passed away in 2017, but he's still in the hearts of many fans and French culture as a whole. Which means that there are many documentaries about him in the works, and one of them was released on Netflix earlier this year. Je suis Johnny Hallyday. Je vais vous partager le film de ma vie. It is a great introduction to the singer, even if you know nothing about him and if you don't really like his music. It is a fast-paced series that drives you through the ups and downs of his life and career, told mostly through his own voice in interviews. You get to see how he changed during his career and in Mirror, how French culture has changed as well. It's a series in five episodes on Netflix. Finally, you can also check out other French TV shows to binge watch for oral comprehension in my earlier video. Click right here on your screen to keep learning French with TV series. Allez, salut!